What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries and today we have a very special video for you. We've teamed up with Coconut Brad to bring you some of the best Maverick and Clash tips and tricks for the brand new season Operation Grim Sky. Now Coconut also has a video over on his channel where he goes through some of the, these tips and tricks from a different perspective including some new bonus ones as well. So make sure to go check out that video, the link will be in the description. So let's jump straight in, check out these tips and tricks starting off with Maverick. Maverick. So this first tip involves soft breaching walls using Maverick's blowtorch. Now you do need to do this in a very smooth circular motion otherwise you may have to reload the blowtorch halfway through making the circle. So make sure you do it in a very smooth motion otherwise you will have to reload and waste some of the gas in the canister. But with some practice this is very easy to do. So for this next trick for Maverick, we're going to take that soft breach trick that we just showed you and basically give it a little bit of an upgrade with the help of a teammate. If you throw a smoke grenade in front of a hard wall and you have Maverick take out his blowtorch and make that small hole in the wall, you can essentially make a blind entrance into the objective and completely surprise the enemy. You can see Coconut walking through the smoke and just appearing inside the objective. I really do think this is a really cool trick to surprise your enemy and get that really quick breach into the objective. Now it is going to take some practice of course as it is very hard to see where to make that hole in the wall when you're buried in smoke but with some practice as we did ourselves I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with it. So this next trick allows Maverick to open up the mirror window using his blowtorch. Now this one is definitely very situational and can be extremely risky, but if you have a teammate waiting behind to cover you as you take out the mirror window, this could be seriously effective in certain situations. So you just need to lie prone underneath the mirror window, take out your blowtorch and aim just below the center of the mirror and you will be able to open up that mirror window and with the help of a teammate, pick off some enemies inside the objective. So this next trick is just a simple claymore trick that you can use by using Maverick's blowtorch. If you place a claymore in front of a hard wall, you can blowtorch open just in front of the claymore and the laser will go through into the room on the other side. So you might be able to catch out a bandit who's listening out for those hard breachers and trying to place down his batteries and you can get that early kill and make a push into the objective. Moving on guys, this is a really nice tip for you guys to know when using Maverick. With his blowtorch, you can actually destroy operator devices and shields with one hit of the blowtorch. Now what I mean by this is that for example, in the clip I'm showing you right now, you can destroy evil eyes with one instant push of the blowtorch and the same goes for bulletproof cameras, deployable shields, mute devices, bandit batteries and so on. Now I will say that this is not the case when it comes to barbed wire. Originally on the test server you were able to destroy the barbed wire with one instant push of the blowtorch but they've changed this for the main build and it now takes a couple of seconds to be destroyed. So for our last trick for Maverick, this is a very straightforward one but can be very effective. For using the blowtorch on castle doors, if you make a number of holes in the door, it can certainly confuse the enemy and with the help of a teammate, maybe Glaz or even just yourself, you can pick a hole to look through and get that early kill from someone inside the objective.
So moving on, we're going to take a look at the new Operator Clash and some of the best tips and tricks that you can learn to use during Operation Grimsky. Now I have to say, Clash is such an all-rounded operator. She's a nuisance in front of windows. She can call out so much information to your teammates as to the whereabout of enemies. And of course, she can team up with a whole host of different operators to create a deadly combo, which of course Coconut will cover some of this in his video. So we're going to take a look here at what I mean by she can suppress people from pushing certain areas on maps. I'm going to take the example here on Cafe because this actually happened to me in a game, which I will show you here in a minute. So it's basically if you play as Clash and you sit in front of that mining room window, you can suppress enemies who are trying to repel up onto that lower roof from making a push in through that mining window. And as you can see from the gameplay clip I have here, they have Clash sitting in front of that mining window and I did see Jaeger was sitting in the back of the room waiting for a moment for her to move out of the way so he could get a clean shot on me or my teammates. So eventually because so much time has been wasted I decided to make a push from a different part of the map which actually eventually got me killed. So it is a great trick to use to suppress and delay time especially if you're playing on bomb. So moving on to the next trick guys, and this is probably one of my favorites, you can actually counter the melee attempt from an enemy on your shield. Now what I mean by this is normally when an enemy pushes up and tries to hit your shield, it moves to the right hand side and the enemy can get shots in on your legs and waist, whereas there's actually a way you can counter this. Now how this works, I can show you in this clip here, when the enemy comes to try and melee your shield, you switch to your weapon at the exact moment they try to make contact with your shield and it basically cancels their melee attempt and you can open fire and get them killed. Now here's another example of what I mean by this, essentially when they come to hit you, you have to time it so that when it's just about to hit your shield, you switch to your weapon and you can open fire on them and get that kill. So moving on to the next trick here guys and we're going to show how Clash deals with claymores. Now what I mean by this is that because of her shield of course she is able to almost be immune to the damage from a claymore where if you can time it correctly if an enemy has placed a claymore in front of a doorway if you push out that door and trigger the claymore and the enemy hasn't had time to move away you can actually kill the enemy with their own claymore and you will have lost little or no damage. On to the next trick here for Clash and we have another Claymore trick to show you and a massive shout out to Microwave Gaming for this one as he showed this in one of his recent videos. This is such a sick Claymore trick and can really surprise an enemy when they're least expecting it. So this is a pretty straightforward thing you need to do here. When you're jumping out the window, make sure you have the shield on your back and you turn away from the direction of the Claymore and the Claymore's damage is suppressed by the shield which then allows you to get that kill and return back into the building. Now I'd like to add in another little tip to add to this trick. When you jump out the window and you look away from the direction of the claymore, make sure to crouch as it will suppress even more of the damage from the claymore. So that is it for the video today guys, I really do hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to drop down into that comment section and let us know what you thought of all these tips and tricks that we have shown you today. Let's get this video to 2000 likes. Now I want to give a massive shout out to Coconut Bra again for being involved in this video. And of course he has his own video over on his channel with the same tips from a different perspective including some bonus tips as well for you guys to learn. So make sure to go over and check out that video, the link will be in the description. Now I also want to give a massive shout out to 
to the Siege community as a whole, including some amazing content creators such as Grief Drums, Microwave Gaming, Icy Cat, and Koros, who put together some of their own tips and tricks videos, some of which we've shown in this video. So make sure to go show them some support. The links to their channels will be in the description. Now, if you want to keep up to date with everything that we're doing, guys, follow us over on Twitter and Instagram. We post a lot of stuff over there. So go and check them out. Join up on our Discord to keep up to date on everything that we're doing. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button and the notification bell so you know when we upload our next video. And as always, see you next time.